Good morning. Welcome to our Wednesday morning devotion. Although today is Wednesday, I hope you are able to watch it whenever you're ready. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Gracious and faithful God, we praise you and adore you. As we gather this morning to study your word, we ask that you pour your Holy Spirit upon us. Give us your wisdom as we meditate in your grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. So last week, we finished Galatians chapter 5. And one of some of the few things that we talked about was about the faith we have in God and how we need to be um, create an attitude and to produce the fruit of the spirit, not the fruit of the flesh, because the fruit of the flesh, it's only temporary. It doesn't last too long. But when we are guided by the fruits of the spirit, we produce enough fruits that goes beyond where we are in our own faith journey. So here are the list of the fruits of the spirit that will make us stand out as Christians, as beloved children of God. That includes love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generous, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. These fruits of the spirit also unite us as children of God in Christ and that our actions becomes the attitude in which we are able to harvest the grace of God that is planted in us. We bear the fruit to love one another through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so that is where we left off from Galatians chapter 5. Today we begin Galatians chapter 6, where Paul reminds us of who we are and how we can continue to be the stewards of Christ's kingdom. And so let us hear from Galatians chapter 6, verse 1 through 10. My brothers, if anyone is caught in any kind of wrongdoing, those of you who are spiritual should set him up right. But you must do it in a gentle way and keep an eye on yourselves so that you will not be tempted to help carry one's another's burden and in this way you will obey the law of Christ if someone thinks he is something when he is really nothing he is only deceiving himself each one should judge his own conduct if it is good then he can be proud of what he himself has done without having to compare it with what someone else has done for everyone has to carry his own load. The man who is being taught the Christian message should share all the good things he has with his teacher. Do not deceive yourselves. No one can make a fool of God. A person will reap exactly what he plants. If he plants in the field of his natural desires, from it he will gather the harvest of death. If he plants in the field of the spirit, from the spirit he will gather the harvest of eternal life. So let us not become tired of doing good. For if we do not give up, the time will come when we will reap the harvest. So then, as often as we have the chance, we should do good to everyone, and especially to those who belong to our family in the faith. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so Paul is once again bringing us into a community where we will live to be able to care for one another as people of God. That is our life as a church family, being the extended family that we have outside our immediate family, is that we are responsible for one another. And so we may ask the question, how do we do this then? We are already practicing that. We support one another with our prayers, calling one another, checking in one another, um, greeting one another when we see each other, especially when we come together. 
And, and that makes that extended family of God in the faith community to be able to stay together. Remember the fruit of the spirit is called to bring us together. And that is where Paul is reminding us to sow in the spirit. For when we sow in the spirit, we are able to enjoy the fruits with one another. And, and so why is Paul bringing this to our attention or bringing it to the Galatians' attention? Were they, divided a were they a divided community? Perhaps yes. Were they carry each other's burden? Perhaps no. And so by bringing these things out to them, it helps to serve as an encouragement, as a support, that even if you were doing it, I'm encouraging you to do it more often. Don't think about yourself only, but think about how you can reach out to the others who are not in your community. And that is when it comes to using the fruit of the spirit as a seed that we plant. If we plant love, we're going to sow love. If we plant kindness, we are going to reap kindness on the harvest day. So we don't give up on one another. If someone step on our toes, we are really happy to forgive them and say we are sorry, we apologize to the person. And that is what it means to carry each other's burden. I don't think we have the strength to lift um, somebody's chair to carry it on our back. But how we carry each other's burden is we support them. We tell them that we are there. We show them Christ's love. And that is what Christ imitate to us. We serve one another with love. This brings us to the passage from Philippians chapter 2, where Christ humbled himself and become a servant to serve not just the disciples, but the community. Wherever he goes, he makes sure he came with a humility um, attitude. And that is the model that we are called to love, a model to love one another as Christ loved us. We are not here to impress one another. Sometimes we think it that way. I must put on the best clothes. I must put on the, the best attitude, not just to impress our friends, our family members, or our community of faith, but we put on such attitude to, to impress God. It is not our own desire that we show off who we are, but we entrust ourselves to tell others who we are as children of God. And, and, and also, we don't compare ourselves, that I am good, I have the good job, I have the best house, I have the best car, and you have the rag house, and you have the rag or not so good looking of a car. That is, doesn't serve us as community of Christ. We can't compare ourselves but we can strive to live as people who are loved and set aside for Christ. We must also think about who we are and the responsibilities that God has placed in us through Jesus Christ. Were the people not responsible? Yes, they were. But were they responsible for what was going on in the community? Perhaps not. And that is another way in which Paul brings it to the attention. If you're going to stay united in the Lord as community of faith, then you have to be responsible for one another. And it takes us back again, checking on one another. That is the, the attitude that we are called to show love, to show kindness, and to be gentle with one another. An act of compassion is what Paul is bringing us to. What about the hope that we have in Christ? Our hope is to invest ourselves in Christ and not to be boastful of who we are and how we represent our community. For us to be able to sow what Paul tells us from this Galatians passage is that we are going to reap what we sow. Whatever we plant, we are going to reap it. And that brings us to, for example, the farmers. They work so hard to put the corn, the grains on the ground, and they wait for God to pour the water and the sunshine on it so that at the harvest time, they have the best products. And that is how we can do it. We have to plant the best of who we are, the 
the, the, the seeds that we have been given through Jesus Christ. And that is the spirit of, that's the fruit of the spirit that we are called to plant. For us, the community, when we invest in the spirit, I hope that we, we do not become those who, who boast of who we are, but we show ourselves as those who have been raised with Christ and continue to move in Christ's way. So that when we sow in the spirit, we are also placing our confidence in the work of God in the spirit. How do we do this? And that calls us to work together in, as faithful believers through Jesus Christ. We encourage one another, as I said earlier on. And when we examine ourselves, we examine ourselves to produce the good fruit that Christ shows us. And so what have we learned so far? To live by the fruit of the Spirit, to show an attitude that we are united in the community, we carry each other's burden, we support one another with encouragement, we love one another as Christ has loved us. These are all the fruits that we can plant because we know at harvest time we are going to harvest eternal life in Christ Jesus. So I want to leave us meditating on these words. That So let us allow ourselves not to be tired of what we do as children of God, but to be able to remember that we look forward for a good harvest. And for a good harvest means we do not give up on one another. And we take time to be there. We work to benefit all, not to impress or not to boast of what we have in our possession, but what we have in the spirit of God. So let us start with our standard family of God who are ready to be united in Christ's hope, in Christ's work, that we look for one another, that we are there for one another, and we are there to show them that Christ has planted a new harvest in us, that we go out and work in that harvest. We, work, we go out and work in that field so others may see the grace of God in us who have invested in the spirit of God and not desire of the flesh. May the Lord guide us as we continue to meditate on these words that we carry each other's burden that we are not tired of who we are as children of God. This is where the message of Paul brings us to. Galatians chapter 6, verse 1 through 10. ten. Next week, we will pick up from where we left off. May the Lord bless us. In Christ, we are one in the community of faith. Amen.